Welcome to Ash Wednesday, welcome to Lent, and welcome to a new podcast series entitled Intentional. This is Father Mark over at Christ Redeemer Catholic Church in Thibodeau, and I want to welcome you to a journey that you and I are going to take together as we grow in our spiritual life during this sacred season of Lent, which is a time where God himself has kind of set apart time to be with you and to help you grow in your spiritual life. I'm excited about Lent and I'm excited about being intentional with you about having some conversation about being intentional. And let me share with you a little bit about where the series came from in my own life. And I'm just gonna reflect on my experience of being with my family during vacation. And I think that what I experienced, perhaps you can kind of connect with, because I think a lot of us experience the same thing. My sister, Priscilla, flew in from North Carolina from Mardi Gras. It was great to be with her. She came down with her 16-year-old daughter, Ella, who is growing up in my midst, and it's great to see the woman that she is becoming. And I was very intentional about going to breakfast with them on Mardi Gras Monday, on Lundi Gras. Now, I could have gone to parades with them. I could have done a lot of other things with them. But my decision to go to breakfast with them was determined by an experience that I often have with my family whenever we get together. And this is it. How many times have I been with my family and we're excited to be together? And I don't know, it's after dinner. We're in the kitchen. We're doing the dishes together. And I'm talking to one of my sisters. And I'm kind of warming up in the conversation. They're warming up in the conversation. I'm trying to share what's happening in my life. They're sharing what's happening in their life. We're about to get to the good stuff. And all of a sudden, somebody walks in, and the conversation gets interrupted, naturally. But we never return to finish the conversation, and I never heard what was really going on in their life. Or how many times have I been with my family on vacations and there's just so much to plan and so much to do. There's a lot of logistics that happen and we find ourselves all together. And how many times have vacations come and gone and I, and I didn't enjoy time alone with anyone because I never made time alone with anyone. In other words, just because we're all getting together doesn't mean we're going to get together. And just because I want to kind of hear what's happening in their life and to share mine with theirs doesn't mean that it's going to happen. What I learned a long time ago is that the only way that I'm going to really enjoy a relationship with my siblings is if I'm intentional about making that happen. And so when my sister came in, I weighed the options of going to parades and having to share her with thousands of people versus going to breakfast, where I could just be alone with her and her daughter, and we could be present to the present moment and present to each other. What I've learned from being with my family is that if I'm not intentional about making things happen, then a lot of times they just won't happen. If I'm not intentional to making conversation happen or to listening, then a lot of times it's just not going to happen. And what's true in our natural life is often true in our spiritual life. And unless you and I become more intentional about choosing to choose, then our relationship with God will live on the level of I want this rather than I'm experiencing this. And I hope that this Lent is a time where you and I no longer just want to grow spiritually but we're actually experiencing the growth that you long for. And if that's where you are, then over the next several weeks, we're going to walk together and we're going to learn how we can make simple choices and practical circumstances of life so that we become more intentional about spiritual growth. And it starts today. And here's your homework for today. My encouragement for you today, before the sun sets on this day and it goes into the history books, Take 10 minutes before you go to bed tonight and ask one simple question, and that is, what do you want from God this Lent? In other words, if we're going to be intentional about experiencing the Lord, we have to be intentional about making time for the Lord. So let's start today, right now, 10 minutes before you go to bed tonight, and ask yourself, what is it that you want from God? 
Now come on back tomorrow as we continue to lay a foundation of how we need to choose to choose. And as this week, as we kind of inch into Lent, let's become more intentional about growing in our spiritual life. And until that conversation happens tomorrow, God bless you.